Hi guys, it's Shahzib Afridi from GameLogix and this is part 41 of our tutorial series how to make Ludo game in Unity. Okay, so this is, I think, these are the last, uh, uh, this is the last uh, puzzle of our game that I am going to solve. Okay, so I am going to write the code for uh, the last piece of our game, which is how to win the game if you are playing a three uh, players game and finally then for if you are playing uh, a four uh, players four player game okay so we are having an error which is because of uh, the break statement okay that i always forget so let's uh, put a break statement and uh, this will eliminate uh, the error so now let's code uh, the winning scenario which is uh, here okay so now if it's a uh, uh, case three and <clears throat> if we put space and if it's case three so if it's case three and uh, total red and house if uh, let me write the comment here uh, if any if any one of three players win the game Okay, so if we're already in house, if it's greater than three, mean it's four, and if uh, total uh, there is no green player in uh, the three players mode, so let's write the code for if they are less than uh, four, means if they are three, and same goes for if uh, no, not red one total uh, uh, yellow and house if they are also less than four then it means that only our uh, a red player has won the game and also check that if it's uh, if player turn if it belongs to the red as well then the red player uh, what the hell uh, the red player has won the game and we have to check if uh, the red screen if it's uh, not uh, active in hierarchy then Uh, play the winning sound for the red player. Open out your souls. Dot play, and then make its uh, screen active. Come on, it should be true. And uh, let's uh, print. A message in our console that will be saying that uh, uh, red player has won the game. Red player has won the game, and uh, let's give the turn to blue because after red uh, the turn goes to the blue one okay so that's it and now check it for the same way uh let's copy this 
let's paste it here now if it's blue no oh, come on man if it's uh, going to be this and uh, it's going to be red okay red and uh, similarly for the yellow and the player turn is also blue okay so it's also blue and if blue screen is not active then make it active okay and uh, the message should be for uh, blue player is on the game and let's give the player turn to we don't have the green one so let's um, make it yellow okay it's done so now similarly for the yellow one okay <clears throat> So it's uh, for the yellow so here we should write uh, the yellow and this should be red this should be blue and the player turn should belong to yellow and the screen belongs to also the yellow player and similarly yellow and yellow yellow everywhere so it's yellow player has won the game So after the yellow, the player go, the turn goes to the red one. Okay, so. So, if any one of the three players win the game, then we do this, okay. Now, let's finally. Now, what happens if any two of the three players win the game, then the game is done. The game is finished okay, so let's write the comment first uh, if any two if any two of three players win the game then then do this okay yep. if if a total building house if it's greater than four and a total blue and house also is greater than so blue and uh, yellow has won the game and total yellow in house is less than four. Oh, it's not greater than four man of the highest run it's greater than three you can write the condition like if total red in house equal to four okay so in that sense equal to four okay or we can say greater than or equal to four or greater than or equal to not three greater than or equal to four okay so you can write such kind of conditions okay it's up to you then what so simply then check if uh, red screen is not active okay similarly 
uh, check if uh, blue screen is not active then then make them active here and uh, here Okay, then <clears throat> um, what should we do? We should uh, call the coroutine. Uh, game completed routine. Okay, so this is another way of calling the coroutine and you can also call it by putting the double quotes okay and the player term should belong to no one none okay so and let's print a debug message game is completed mm -hmm. okay should I set yeah that's it so now let's do the same thing for the um, red and yellow and then blue uh, and yellow okay so let's do that mm, yeah let's copy this let's paste it here and if it's uh, red and yellow And this should be blue. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Let's do it the other way so you can learn both of these. So this can be called in this way as well. <clears throat> I have already shown you, but it's okay. Okay, so let's do the final thing for the blue, blue and yellow. Uh, blue and yellow and this should be red okay so this should be blue is already there so this should be yellow Okay, and uh, this should be yellow. Uh, 
Okay. So I think that we are done. Okay. Red and blue, red and yellow. And uh, and blue and yellow. Okay, so these are the possibilities. So it's done. So let's have a break statement. Okay. So let's have a break statement and we are done. Okay, so the winning situation for three players game is done. And the only thing that is left uh, for us is to write the code for the case uh, number four. If we are playing the four players game. Okay, so I will do that in the next tutorial. So till then, take care of yourselves and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for uh, notifications and if you have any problems, then let me know in the comments. Okay, so see you guys in the next tutorial.